So this video I've wanted to do for quite a while. Juvia's Place is a brand that I discovered even before I had my channel. I got my very first Juvia's Place palette and I was completely hooked. I actually got it off of Hot Look and just got it at a discount and thought this is beyond amazing, beautiful, and I was so excited to get that. And then I just started to get the ones that really appealed to me and I've kind of just gotten them as they've released them now. So before we get into the ranking, I do want to tell you guys, because you ask a lot about my earrings, and these are ones that I just got at Target. And I just think they're so cute. Um, they're seashells and then they've kind of um, colored them with gold and then their gold hoops right here and they're very light they're not heavy at all and that's kind of the reason that I was really drawn to them the fact that that of that and that they are kind of unique my shirt is off of Amazon and my nail polish is Zoya and I'll make sure that I link all of those things below for you too okay let's get in to the ranking of the Juvia's Place palettes that I have right now all right in at number 17 is the tribe and I'm going to really quickly show you about the artwork on all of these it's African artwork and it's absolutely gorgeous and before we get into it um, I want to tell you that the reason that I'm so in love with this brand is because of its quality and the fact that it's very reasonable in price there isn't one of these palettes that I would go oh no that's a bad palette don't get it because it's patchy or it's chunky or anything like that they're just wonderful shadows that are highly pigmented the mattes are smooth and they blend in so well you're not gonna have you know a lot of skipping a lot of patchy parts where you're trying to blend things out just use a very light hand and that's because they are so very saturated probably the stars of the show are really the metallics but the mattes they blend so pretty and they're such nice quality that i just can't say enough about them and i will show you a close-up of each of these as we get going and then it's usually on the inside as well there's a few that doesn't have it but the stars of the show are obviously the shadows and that is right there. The reason that this one ended up at the bottom is because there aren't very many colors that I can reach for out of this palette and just use no problem. Even this color over here tends to be to pull more yellow. So this whole row down here I really can't use. This row right here I use and this color over here which are these beautiful teals. And then I'm going to swatch for you this one right here which is this beautiful um, duo chrome that goes between kind of a kind of a green and almost an orange in there and it's really beautiful on the lids and they're all like that you guys so even though I do love that color it's probably the one that I reach for most in here and that's why it ranked in at number 17 because I don't have a tendency to grab for it that much and then the same is true about the Zulu palette here is the artwork for you guys so you can see and then the colors inside I love the vibrancy of this this just screams summer to me but unfortunately this whole entire row down here I've never even touched because I know that those colors won't work for me this one right here that looks like a brown is just really too orange for me it's like a deep and ter terracotta and my earrings are going to tinkle the whole way through this video I apologize you guys anyway these colors right here are the ones that I use the most I'm going to swatch this purple for you so you can see how absolutely beautiful and gorgeous that purple is it is a purple that is a matte and yet it has so much vibrancy and beautiful color to it so definitely a gorgeous palette as far as the colors that are up here for me but if you're somebody that likes those yellows those oranges it's gorgeous for that too and they they mix so well together now this is a palette that I would have to reach for something else for my transition color because none of these really can go well for a transition transition color for me but um, again it might be something that you guys really love and that you would rank a little bit higher for yourself and then at number 15 is the festival palette and here is the artwork and again on the inside and then the colors the reason that I ranked this one a little bit higher than the Zulu is because I adore this white color in here it is the most sparkling beautiful white and I love this gunmetal color in here I obviously would not go into these two colors right here or this one but every other color in here I use so I don't depalette these with the single pots and put them into a Z palette or anything 
because I haven't had a lot of luck with that. So I'm probably not going to ever do that. Besides that, I love this artwork. It's so pretty. At number 14 is the Warrior 3. And this one has gorgeous colors in there. There's your artwork. So pretty. And then what's inside is absolutely beautiful. And again, I ranked this one a little bit lower because of the fact that I couldn't just go in here and do a, a look because my coloring is lighter but you guys these two colors right here the um like middle silver color is so pretty it's actually got a lot of blue in it it's a duochrome color so it's really a beautiful color and across your eyelid it picks up the silver and the blue and I just think it's just something really, really special. And I've reached for that one a ton. All of these colors in here, I really can make them work, except for I don't reach for that orange or that yellow. This really deepened like rose color, berry, uh, lighter berry color is so pretty. So I really do love that. Unit number 13 came out last year with these four little mini palettes. And this one is the nudes. They did a really great job on these. However, this one ranked lower because I felt like they could have deepened this mustardy kind of brown color up. I felt like they could have made that a little bit deeper and made this palette just all inclusive and it been just perfect. But honestly, you guys, even though my coloring is lighter, I still struggle with it because this isn't quite deep enough. But I will tell you that I do reach for this color a lot. It's kind of a gold rose color rose gold color <laughs> and i just think it's so pretty on the eyes and um, it's one of those ones that just adds a touch of shimmer without adding too much color so this was a little bit lower again because i couldn't you know really reach for it and have a completed look and then at number 12 in comes the chocolate palettes out of those little mini palettes they made and the artwork is the same on all four of these they just changed the coloring this one um this one surprised me i do have a tutorial on all four of those which i will link for you guys but this one surprised me because um, i wouldn't have thought that i would have been able to get a complete look out of this because it just feels too deep for me but when I went into this color right here it looks sensational on the lid the nice thing about dipping into these colors and going into the lid with them is they're so soft that even if you have texture they don't seem to show up the texture very much on mine and I just think that they're gorgeous and that one was bright enough that even though it was a dark color the reflect off of it the brightness off of it really showed through as you would see in that tutorial if you looked at it but it ranked lower again because i felt like i really only got like one look out of this maybe two looks out of this and then in at number 11 was the queen palette fumi and juvia's place and there is your artwork and i thought this is so cute how they did the queen of hearts and then the artwork and then of course the gorgeous gorgeous shadows in there and I really loved how diverse this one was. This color right here, which is kind of a medium peach color, it is so perfect for a transition color, kind of sheared out a little bit. And again, that one is a matte. And look at how great and how saturated that is. So a beautiful palette again. I can get a look in here without having to go to another palette, which I absolutely love the idea of being able to just pick up one palette. And that doesn't hold me back from using this one bit. And I think that the beauty of Juvia's Place is that they give you such diversity. And when you first look at it, you're going, that looks weird. It looks like a hodgepodge. And then when you start working with it, you're like, these colors complement each other so pretty, which doesn't happen all the time when they're doing palettes that are such different colors like that. And then in at number 10 is, I'm going to say this wrong because I always do. It's either the Africa or Afriki palette. And there is your artwork. And they chose to just put um, a design in there. And then here is all of the shadows. This has smaller pans in it. And you would look at that and again go, that is the worst hodgepodge. But you guys, this palette has my perfect transition color in it and it's right up here and I love it. And the other thing I'm going to swatch for you, this particular one feels so soft and so silky to me. So I'm going to swatch that royal blue for you 
and you're gonna see how saturated that mat is. Oh my goodness, so pretty. But you're getting in here this beautiful muted sagey green, and there's a pretty, pretty one that is almost like, um, kind of like silver violet in here. It's really pretty. So you're seeing all of these colors and so many looks can come out of this, especially since they gave this gorgeous, beautiful transition color that can be sheared out and it's so pretty and then they gave you the white but you can mix with these other ones in here too and be able to get a look and you know pull off any of these colors if you are on the lighter side kind of like i am and then in at number nine is the berries now this one just caught my attention obviously these pinky berry tone plummy colors they're right up my alley and I really when I first got this I was so excited about it Can you guys see that this looks pink right here when you're looking at it? I'm going to show you how cool this color is right now It is it might look orange to you It might look pink kind of depending on where the light is shifting against it It is the most interesting beautiful duo color I think that they well probably the second because there is one other one that I think is way more interesting than this one but this one is ranked a little bit lower as well because I really have kind of shied away from these pinkish colors. I don't know whether it's because I've gone through, I'm going through menopause or what, but it kind of makes my eyes look a little bit too red and it has a tendency to kind of make me um, look like I've got a cold or something. So this plummy deep color is one that I reach for all the time and I do like this color right here and I'm gonna kind of just completely swatch it across my arm and hopefully you're gonna be able to see how it catches the light and it shifts between hot pink and this beautiful peachy orange. And that is the star of this palette. It is so pretty and it's such a different one than I have seen anywhere else. And I just think that it's gorgeous. All right, in at number eight is the Nomad palette. I was so excited when they came out with this one and you guys are gonna think, this doesn't look like me at all, but I love the artwork on it. It's very whimsical on it this time. And then right there, you guys are gonna go, what is she thinking? <laughs> but you guys, this palette has cool tones and it has the warm tones. This is the only color in it. This bright yellow is the only color in it that I haven't used and really liked. Even this orangish, orangish color over here is pretty sheared out as a transition color because it can be very muted. But this color in the middle right here is another one that I felt like just stole the show of this whole entire palette. I do have another tutorial on this palette, but look how bright that is. Look how pretty that color is. One of their palettes that I can reach for, and I know I'm gonna come out with a very, very pretty look because I can go either more on the smoky side with the grays over here, or I can warm it up a little bit, or I can go very, very light-handed and have a very natural everyday look on it. So really have loved this one and almost put it a little bit higher, but you'll see why I didn't put it as high when I get into these other ones. The next one is the Saharan 2 by Juvia's Place. Here's our artwork. And then there are the, the colors. This one is one that I have used every single color in here. Not that I reach for every single color in here over and over again, but I can go into this palette, use every single color in here, and it be just beautiful and fantastic. I'm actually gonna swatch two of these for you. This one is the bright red, and you wouldn't think that I would go for that, but it does go really well with colors as you're blending, and I wanted to show you how pretty that is. Look how gorgeous and deep that is. And then over here, this is an icy bluish color that I wear all the time, an icy aqua color that I wear all the time. So the shimmers in here, they're just really, really pretty. So you have only three mattes up here, but you have all of these shimmers down here. And like I said, their shimmers are really, really special. So please don't shy away from these just because you see so many shimmers, unless you absolutely hate shimmers or metallics, I understand that. The Nubian 2 comes in at number six. And again, the artwork is so pretty on it, you guys. This one is a 12 pan. And I can look at this one and honestly go that there are only a couple colors in here that I, I won't use. Obviously, again, bright, bright gold, not me. But even the orange, orange is a color that you can wear and really peach orange. I mean, if you're deeper, you want to go, you know, more towards the deeper peach, almost orange. But if you're lighter, you can really, really sheer it out and it brings a ton of brightness to your look. So if you've got a look that you look at and you go, this is way too dull, 
Go in with a tiny, tiny bit of orange and see what you think about that, or a tiny bit of peach and see what you think about dusting that across the transition and just kind of, you know, it brightens everything up. So what I love about this, we have this super deep violet, almost a blackened violet right here. You have a very deep maroon. You have an extremely deep, well, this is kind of like a, a medium navy color. And then you have this beautiful forest green color over here, which I'm going to swatch that one because I love that one. It's probably my favorite out of the whole palette. But you do have a great transition color in here. You have the, the light color that you can mix with other colors and come up with something really gorgeous. So look at that forest green, you guys. Isn't that pretty? Be so pretty across the lid um, in the outer V to deepen up your look, whatever you wanted. So this really is one that I have loved working with. And then in at number five is the last one of those minis, and this one is the violets. And there is the artwork right there and then the colors and this one stole my heart for obvious reasons everybody here knows that i am a purple fiend i love purple it is just my color my jam i adore it this isn't what i have on today i'm trying out a new one from um, violet voss but this color right here which is just the prettiest icy lavender color and it is just so gorgeous you could just put that on your lid, do a little bit in your transition with a, a medium brown and you're, you're set, you're good. I love this. I reach for this all the time along with the ColourPop. It's my pleasure and Lilac you a lot and you are set for any purples that you could ever possibly want. So yes, that one had to be in my top five. And then in at number four, you might look at and go, this doesn't look like Melissa at all. But number four is the Nubian 3, the Coral Palette and um, there's the artwork, sorry, there's the artwork and the pattern, and I know my light is shining brightly across these. So I love this one, you guys. It had to be in my top four because this is one of my most reached for from them because you have this whole row of beautiful cools. You have medium or neutral colors, and then you have warm colors. And this uh, color right here, which is a taupey color, beautiful on the transition if you're looking for cool tones but i love these pewters that they put in here this silver one is so pretty and so bright there are so many gorgeous neutral looks you can achieve out of here and let me just swatch that one for you right there so you can see how bright and bold and beautiful it is so here's the deal about the top three you could take any of them, mix them up and say, no, this is number one. No, this is number one. And I would, I would totally agree with you because all three of these palettes are ones that I just think are beyond gorgeous. They're just beautiful. So at number three is the very first palette I ever got from them. And that is the Masquerade palette. And this is the Masquerade mini. And again, there is our artwork and here is our colors. I think this one is probably the most diverse of all of the other ones because you have two rows. It's a 16 pan palette. You have two rows of beautiful, beautiful colors. And then you have a whole two rows of neutral colors. And if you wanted to put this in your vacation bag and you're going somewhere where you know you're going to be wearing bright clothes and you want to pop on colors, every different color every night, you got it. It's gorgeous. You have a and tutorial, which is a peacock tutorial, um, eye tutorial on this one. And I just think it's so pretty. I'm going to swatch for you this orchid, which I think is so gorgeous. It is a matte, but at the same time, it's one of those colors that when you use it, you're surprised at how well it goes on your eyes. Love working with all of these. So if you've been thinking about using color, but you're afraid to get a whole palette of just color, try this one because you have all of these colors that you can work with up here that are neutral that you could work in pops of colors with. And I just think that it's just gorgeous. No. And then number two, these two were the hardest. Number two is the Magic Palette. This is the full size one. And again, here is our artwork and then the gorgeous colors inside. This thing's gonna get me because it's too big. <laughs> they do have this in the mini now. I don't even know if they even sell this big one anymore. This is the second palette that I ever got from Juvia's Place. But the diversity in here and these colors are some next level beauties. I love these colors in here. They're, except for this bright, bright gold down here, Every single one of these I use all the time and I love using them. And I'm gonna swatch for you today this tealy color right here. It's kind of a muted teal, but you can see right there it has a lot of green in it. 
and it is one of those ones i'm gonna to have to revert to the other side here it is one of those ones that is just so pretty on the lid i think that if you're wanting a color palette that just has colors then you want to go for this one it really is a palette that is across the gamut and there is not a color in here that i don't reach for and go i love that of course except for the gold but other than that, they're just beautiful. This is a very, very deepened gunmetal. This one is a deepened violet. You have a very deep navy, a very bright uh, green that I think is so pretty. I'm gonna swatch that one for you too because I think that green is so beautiful. Let's go right here on that green. Look at that green, oh my goodness. Can you believe the shine on those? They're so pretty. So you do definitely get the mattes, but the shimmers are really the show of Juvia's Place. And I haven't been disappointed with any of them. I love this purple over here. Reach for that one all the time. Okay, the number one palette. This one came in at number one for a couple reasons. Not only because, it's the Deuce palette by the way. Not only because I love it and I, I reach for it all the time, but because I have a little bit lighter coloring. So medium to light skin tones are gonna love this palette. Here's your artwork. And then again on the inside and then here is the colors on it now the reason that it is number one is because i can go in here and not stop with making different looks i love this this is one of my favorite colors that they've ever put out it's a corally pink and it's such a good transition color you have a medium deepened rose right here which i think is great this bright fuchsia orchid color immensely beautiful this color right here is the color out of all of these palettes that i use more than anything and it is this duo chromy and i'm going to swatch my thumb because i think my other my other fingers are way too dirty but it is this duo chromy icy pink that shifts with the lavender i have worn this in so many videos and everybody always asks me what color i have on my lid because even though it is um, a shimmer, it's not a, a metallic. So it's got this icy bright quality to it. And I just think it's gorgeous. And then of course, I really love also this bright blue color that, well, it doesn't look blue, it looks silver, but on the lid, it really does come across as a bluish silver and it's gorgeous too. So yes, number one is the Deuce palette. You guys, I know that that was a longer video. I sure appreciate you hanging in with me. I hope that you did enjoy seeing me rank all of my Juvia's Place palettes. I'm planning on doing this with ColourPop as well. So if you did, please give it a thumbs up um, so that I know that. I love ranking videos and some of you have said that you love them as well. So I thought I might start to do a few of those now. So thank you so much for spending a bit of your time with me today. And I hope that everyone is staying safe. Please stay sanitized. Love you guys all so very much. And I'll see you all in my next video. Love you again. Bye-bye.